At Competitive Computing Consultants, Inc., we love to help users get the most out of their Microsoft 365 applications. So in this video, we will highlight five features of Microsoft Teams that will help you work more efficiently and effectively in this application. Cross-channel posting allows you to create a single post or announcement and populate it through various channels that you're a member of in Teams. With your announcement or post ready for posting, open the Format Options. Select Post in Multiple Channels. The channel you created the post in will automatically populate here. Choose Select Channels to access more workspaces, and use these drop-downs to access the workspaces and channels of all the teams you are a member of or owner of. Now use these checkboxes to select other channels within those workspaces that you'd like to publish this post or announcement to. Select Update. All the selected channels will appear here. If you've added a channel in error, use the X to remove it before posting. When you're ready, use the paper airplane to send this announcement or post into all the listed channels. Popping out a chat window allows you to access important chat windows regardless of the application view you're working in. You can pop out a chat window in a few ways. From the chat listing, hover over the chat you'd like to pop out and the pop out icon will appear. Select it to activate the pop out feature. You can now resize and reposition the chat window anywhere on your screen. As you move through the various application views in Teams, the chat window will remain open. You can also access this popped out chat when you have other applications open on your desktop. You can also access the pop out option by selecting the ellipsis and choosing pop out chat. It's also available within an open chat window as well. Another way to access the pop-out feature is to double-click the profile icon of a user. This will pop open the private one-on-one -on -one chat window. Finally, you can use the shortcut forward slash pop, select tab, and then type the name of the colleague. When you press enter, their chat window will pop out for you to access. At this time, the pop-out feature is not available on the web version of Microsoft Teams or the Teams mobile application. As you and your colleagues add content to the Post tab or to private one-on-one -on -one or group chats, items may become more difficult to locate due to persistent chat. If you want to ensure you always have access to an important message or post, you can save it for quick retrieval at a later time. Saving content is also a great way to mark a specific position within the chat or conversation post. To save an item, hover over the post or chat you'd like to save. Select the ellipsis and choose Save This Message. When you need to access this post in the future, you can select your profile icon and choose Saved. The Saved pane will open and you can click the saved item to review it. When a saved item is selected, you're brought to its location and can review all posts placed before or after that saved item. To save time, you can also access your saved pane by navigating to the command bar and typing forward slash saved and hitting enter. It's important to note that shared documents or files don't necessarily need to be saved as they are accessible from the files view of the channel or chat window. When you have channels, chat tabs, or files in folders that you frequently access, you can pin them to the top of the Teams workspace pane, chat pane, or files tab. Whether you're pinning a chat or a channel, the steps are the same. Select the ellipsis beside the channel or chat and select Pin to secure it to the top of the pane. This ensures you have quick access to the content and conversations you access frequently in your workday. 
the channel or chat will remain at the top of the pane until it's unpinned. If you would like to pin a folder or important work item or document, access the channel the item's housed in and select the Files tab. Use the ellipsis beside the item to access more options and choose Pin to Top. The item will now be secured to the top of the file listing for quick and easy access. Our final tip to help you increase productivity is all about OneDrive connectivity within Teams. From the Files view, you can access your personal OneDrive cloud storage that houses all of your private work files and documents. This allows you to work on your private work files and documents while remaining connected to your organization and to other colleagues. You can begin a chat message while working on private documents and reply to others without leaving the current view so your workflow is not interrupted. From the Teams environment, you can create new files or upload existing files right into your personal OneDrive cloud storage, allowing you to remain immersed in the Teams environment. With the click of a button, you can access and open the complete OneDrive application, which will allow you access to all of your favorite features and capabilities of OneDrive. This includes items like the Shared With Me tab to access items others have allowed you access to version history to manage the various document versions, and the details pane, which will show you a history of the document and allow you to manage document access. When in OneDrive, you can quickly move or copy items into the Teams environment. Select the ellipsis beside the folder or document and choose Move To or Copy To. A pane will open, allowing you to select the team's workspace and drill down to the channel and folder you'd like the item to appear in. This functionality is also available from Teams if you'd like to move or copy items from a channel into your personal OneDrive storage. The steps are the same. If you choose to move an item, it will remove the item from its original location and relocate it into a new location that you've specified. If you choose to copy, it will create a replica of this item and place the replica in a new location that you've selected, maintaining the item in its original location as well. If you've copied an item from one location to another, it's important to note that these items are not synced to one another. Updates made will only appear on the version you have opened and updated, and the changes made are not reflected in the copied version. If you want to be able to change and update this document from various locations, select the ellipsis and choose Copy Link. This link can be pasted into a channel post, a chat message, or into another Microsoft application such as OneNote. All changes made to a document using this link will be reflected in the original version. Now that we've explored some features and capabilities of Teams, try them out in your own Teams environment. As Microsoft continues to bring you more applications and features that improve effectiveness and efficiency in the workplace, we will continue to highlight these amazing applications and capabilities for you, so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and have a productive workday.